And let's face it, in the digital age, which is clearly what we are in today, our payment rails were developed 40 years ago, pre-digital age, pre-internet, pre-everything. Um, Actually, I find it amazing that I can order a package from Amazon, have it delivered faster than I get a payment uh, from one bank to another. Uh, the fintechs are leveraging that vacuum, if you will. They're attacking that vacuum, but they're, they're doing it kind of in a, I would call a Rube Goldberg-ish way. The consumer thinks the money's moved, but it hasn't. The money's not in the account. If it's going through the ACH rails, it could be a three or four day event. A quick follow up on the cores. Um, and it, it, I know you guys have deep in discussions with those th primarily those three and a host of others. Um, rough time frames. I know you guys have been working to get this uh, system implemented. What are they telling you roughly in terms of how quickly they could be partners on implementation? I there? think this um, the end of maybe this quarter, beginning of next quarter, um, they're going to start to light up. You know, they all have multiple systems. Right. So it's we been do. it's been tough. Uh, I think. FIS uh, has told us they're doing what's called mass enablement, so they will be able to light up, I think, all of their cores simultaneously. Mass enable, mass enablement, so they will be able to light up, I think, all of their cores simultaneously, simultaneously. I might be a little bit off on that, but not by much.